In this example, we want to find a linear approximation of the function of f of x equals to the square root of 1 minus x at a equals 0. And then we're going to use this linear approximation um, to approximate the numbers of square root of 0 0.9 and the square root of 0 0.99. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and find our linear approximation, okay, which is to, which is uh, going to be denoted by L of X. Okay, so we go to the, we're going to use the point slope form of the line. Okay, so we have Y minus Y1 equals to M times X minus X1. Okay, so we need to, uh, we need the slope. Okay, so we have to take the derivative of our function. Okay, so we're going to have Okay, so our, our function is given as the square root of 1 minus x, which is equivalent to 1 minus x to the power of 1 half. And from here, we can take the derivative. Okay, so using the general power rule, so we're going to have 1 half times 1 minus x to the negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is going to give us negative one. Okay, so, so taking the derivative of the inside part here. So that's gonna give us, uh, we can rewrite this as minus one over two times the square root of one minus x, okay? All right, so the slope, okay, it's going to be attained by evaluating our derivative at zero, okay? So at this point, okay? Okay, so we have, right, so we want the slope, we're gonna evaluate the derivative at zero. So f prime of zero is going to give us minus one over two times the square root of one minus zero. And so that's gonna give us a value of minus one half. All right. Okay, so uh, we have we have our slope. Okay, so x one. Okay, x one is just zero. Okay, and if we evaluate the function at zero, that's going to give us the corresponding y value. So at zero, that's just going to be square root of one minus zero, which is one. So that's what we're going to use for y one. Okay, so we have one. Y minus one, okay, equals to minus one half times X minus zero, okay. So this is going to simplify, give us Y equals to negative one half X plus one. Okay, so this is our linear approximation. So this is what we're calling, we're calling L of X, okay. Okay, so L of X is this. All right. All right, so we have our linear approximation. Now we wanna use this to approximate uh, the square root of 0 0.9. Okay. All right. So the way we're gonna do this, okay, is if we go to, right, if we, we write Right, the square root of 0 0.9, remember that we want to use our linear approximation, okay, which is approximating the square root of 1 minus x. So we need to put our we need to put our square root in that form of 1 minus x. Okay, so this okay, so this is equal to the square root of 1 minus 0 0.1. Okay. So you can see how that now close is resembling our function of the square root of one minus x. Okay, so we're going to apply our linear approximation for this. Okay, all right, so this is in the form, right? This is in the form of square root of one minus x, okay? OK, 
Okay, so so we're going to evaluate our linear function, our linear approximation, okay, at the value of 0.1. Okay, so we have, okay, so remember that L of x is equal to negative one half x plus one. Okay, so we have, okay, so we can say that the square root of 0 0.9 is going to be approximated by our linear function evaluate at 0 0.1 and that's going to give us negative one half times 0 0.1 plus one okay and doing this uh, we end up getting 0 0.95 and I'm going to put two zeros here because they want it rounded to four decimal places so okay so that is so that is the approximation for the square root of 0 0.9. All right, so now we can do the same thing for the, uh, for the other value, for the square root of 0 0.99. Okay, so the square root of 0 0.99. Okay, so for that, okay, Right, so for this value, we can rewrite this as 1 minus 0 0.01, okay? So, so we have the form, right, of the square root of 1 minus x. So we want to we use this for x now, okay? So the square root of 0 0.99 is going to be approximated by the linear function evaluate at Point zero one, and that's going to give us negative one half times point zero one plus one. Okay, and that's going to give us a result of <clears throat> zero point nine nine five. And since they want it round to four decimal places, then we put the zero here. Okay, so there's there's our approximations, okay? So a lot of time they use this actually in computer science um, uh, because evaluating, uh, evaluating this function, you can see here, this, sometimes evaluating square roots can take like, you know, you know take more, it's, it's more, it takes more computational time than to handle something, uh, than to handle linear function. Okay, and especially if you're dealing with millions of lines of code, uh, that could take you know a long time on the on the computer mainframe. Okay, so um, so they do they they definitely do use this uh, in computer science a lot of times. Okay, um, the linear the linear forms are just they you know they save a lot of time. Uh, essentially, the I mean more importantly the computational time. Okay, when you're um, when you're evaluating these. Okay. But anyway, this is right. This is what we wanted, okay. And so this is using the idea with linear approximations, which is relating to the idea of differentials.